Hello and welcome to Nelson All Over Cards. My name is Nelson and today we're going to be doing kind of a deep dive into Marvel CDB and how to use it to find cards, to build decks, to use the analytical tools inside that deck builder so that you can become a better deck builder. Now, this all kind of came about because last Friday on my stream, I got a question about item cards, which Jubilee interacts with with her shopping spree shopping spree player sites game i need to learn how to say that five times fast but basically she has a card that interacts with item cards and so instead of like flipping through every single card we're going to learn how to do a specific search for different cards so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to learn how to search cards we're going to look at decks and then look at some of the analytical tools in those decks how I use them, and then also how they can be manipulated or how you can adjust based off of what you're seeing to build a deck in Marvel Champions. I'm also going to show you how to share decks because there is a weird little uh, toggle that you have to turn on in there to do so. So Marvel CDB is the Marvel Champions deck builder. I will sometimes abbreviate it to CDB because apparently Marvel CDB is too much for me to say i don't know why i started doing that it, i just did so cdb or marvel cdb is the site this is the website where you are going to find built decks and where you're going to be able to build decks and find cards you'll see all of the popular deck builders like villain theory this is where they post decks and so if you've ever heard of a popular deck probably the most popular deck in marvel champions is that wild tutor deck from brian v this is where it came from. So let's talk about how to find cards in Marvel CDB. Now, when I call, talk about search, I'm actually not using this search up here. I'm actually going over here to the card tab and I'm clicking here and this brings up an advanced search. So you have so many different things that you can search for. I love this website. It's so, so nice and how you can refine your searches. And you do not have to put in every single input here. You can choose what you want to search. If you want to search just for the name of a card, which is the title of the card, you can do so. If you want to search the text and you want to go like, I want to see cards that have confuse in the text box, you can do that. And it's going to pull up every single card in the game that has that text in it. But let's, uh, let's talk about a little bit more about what we can do. Usually what I'm using this for are traits and down here in the attribute section you can search here for traits and that's what we're going to look at for jubilee so jubilee interacts with those items so let's go ahead and we can click you can scroll down to item or if you just start typing it does take you right to the item trait and if you hit search you're going to pull out any card that has the item trait on it if you wanted to you could narrow it down to maybe all of these are going to be upgrades, but if you if it was an item, say it was attack, right? You could look for different uh, types of cards or subtypes of cards here. And then if you wanted to uh, narrow it down for aspect cards, you can do that as well. So for the items, uh, let's do two different two different searches. So first, we're going to look to see what Jubilee can bring to the table without another hero. So that's going to be pool, aggression, basic. Let's not use campaign cards. So I'm going to unclick that, not use encounter. Hero cards are hero specific cards. This would be if we left this clicked, we would pull out like super soldier serum from Captain America. It's not saying search Captain America, the the individual card. It's actually the the hero kit. And then justice leadership protection if we wanted any of the cost say if we wanted it to equal exactly one we could add that restraint in here or we can go greater than or less than we wanted mental energy resources how much it attacks for how much health it has typically for like an ally you can do all of that if you wanted to you could search for any specific sets there's a lot of refining that you can do here but just to start us out, let's talk about items in the basic and then the aspects, the five aspects we have. So if we search, we will come up with all of the cards. And so advanced suit, uh, blood gym, cell phone, comms implant, disguise, which came in Jubilee's kit, as well as cell phone, energy barrier, and side holster. So whenever I get a card like Jubilee that can interact with a new trait, I did this with Psylocke when she got skills, 
repurpose. I'm looking for tech uh, traded cards. Um, anything like that where you have a uh, a hero or a card that interacts with some sort of trait. This is how I'm doing it. And so now I'm looking at this. I'm like, ooh, I see energy barrier is an item. Since I can tutor energy barrier, maybe I want to start thinking of building a deck around energy barrier because I can get it with that player's side scheme. Or what about advanced suit? I think advanced suit would be kind of fun. That's kind of how I would use this search. Alrighty, sorry for the abrupt transition, but I was editing the video and I realized that I was going on way too long on some very nuanced things. If you have questions about any of this, ask me in the comments, but I it was like six minutes long of just stuff that did not need to be. I want the video to be a little bit snappier. And so let's dive directly into how to build a deck and how to use some of those analytical tools available to us on CDB. So when I'm going to build a deck, I'm going to go up to my decks and then I'm going to use this button right here that says click new deck now this is going to bring up all of the heroes that we have in marvel champions and we're going to be able to modify the deck when we say like create jubilee deck so let's go ahead and click on this we saw energy barrier is an item so that's kind of the idea that we're going to run with here so let's grab and click jubilee and it's going to pop up this crazy looking site so over here on the left are all the cards inside your deck currently it comes in with the 15 hero cards or more in some cases that come in they're broken up into allies events player side schemes resources upgrades and then once we add a support the support will pop up here now we can kind of go through and look at all of these cards so here's all the basic cards we wanted aggression cards we can also type and search and so we said that we we're going to go with energy barriers so let's search for energy there's a thousand energies uh but if we go energy barrier i'm gonna i want to add three copies of energy barrier into my deck that does a couple of things that automatically makes it so that we are now looking at protection so we've labeled this a protection deck jubilee doesn't have any wonky crazy uh deck building so it's just protection so if we hop back over to like an aggression it's only going to show us cards that are allowed to be in the deck now so we cannot add aggression cards we cannot add justice cards cannot add pool cards but when we click on protection they're all going to be here now you can use this you can sort through allies you can sort through events to find and build out what you want if you don't have the entire collection, what we're going to do is you're going to come to this icon here and you're going to go to my collection. If you click on my collection, I'm going to just pull that up in another tab. You have all the options here to say, I don't have Ant-Man. I don't have Drax. I don't have Galaxy's Most Wanted and I don't have Phoenix. Let's say that those are the ones that you don't have. Unselect those, then it's hidden. It is hidden here. You have to scroll down, hit save. I'm not going to do it because I do own everything because I'm a sucker for this game and I'll buy everything that they print. But you hit save and then that's going to update when you're building your deck. It's only going to show you cards that you have in your collection, which is just so nice. And so building a deck here, I'm probably not going to spend too much time here. So let's just go ahead and quickly transition to the built deck alrighty so we have the magically appeared deck please do not judge this too harshly this literally I just pulled 40 cards together and so this is the jubilee deck and so I have not looked at any of the analytics yet I wanted to do that with you all to see how I may mess with it and so cards in here are cards in the deck are over here on the right it shows you how many protection cards I actually have. I have 10 protection cards. I have 40 cards, and it's going to require 11 packs. If I click on this, it's going to tell me every single pack that I need to build this deck. So let's hop over to the chart. So if we go to charts, this is going to show us a lot of information. So this is going to show us card type distribution. So if you had way too many events, you can kind of see that in a pie graph form here. It's going to show you the different card factions. So protection, hero, and basic cards. It's going to show you a distribution of your resource icons. This is going to be those icons on the card itself. So you can see that. So I would use this mainly for if I'm running like a uh, blade deck or someone who requires me to spend physical resources in order to keep them around or to get a specific kicker hone technique I'm looking for mental resources here so this is just a nice little balance a lot of times it doesn't matter the most important graph on this page for me 
is this card cost? And so I'm going to link it right here as well in as well as down below, but I have an entire video with villain theory where we talk about the cost curve. And this is the graph that we're talking about. This is the cost curve graph. This shows you how many cards you have at a specific cost. So I have nine, three cost cards. I have 17, two cost cards, and I have three or four, three cost cards. No, three, four cost cards. So this is how you can see that. So if I can see it's like, oh, maybe I need a little bit more less expensive cards because my graph is kind of skewed towards the right. And, you know, there's this whole balance and we can talk about it a lot in the video. So I'm not going to necessarily rehash it here. There's a whole balance of, OK, I have some really expensive cards. Let's try and get some cheaper cards in there. So maybe let's let's pull out uh, Karma and instead Iron Ironheart um because iron heart's really good and that's going to change and you can start to see that shift back to the left so that's how i would manipulate this in that we talk about the benefits of having a high cost curve or a low cost curve but a lot of the times you want this to look like a similar flat line so those are the analytics that i really like to use you can also use notes you can add in notes here you can tags for you can filter your decks because if you're like me, you're going to have a ton of them built here soon. Uh, you can test your deck by doing a card draw simulator. So Jubilee, she's let's try an alter ego hand. This could be that first hand. So I'm going to have two multi-talented, a utopia, an energy barrier. Sometimes I like to use this to see if I'm skewed too high, if that cost curve, I'm like, I really don't, I really can't bring down the cost curve or am I going to get too many build cards in that opening hand? Um, I use this a little bit less than what I used to, but I do really like this as an option. So you can reset if you want to see like a, what a hero can do. That's how you would see those cards that can be drawn. Now, if I built this deck, you're going to come down here. I'm going to name it new Jubilee deck. You can save this and it's going to go and put it into your my decks. This does not make it public. You, this is not a deck that anybody can see unless you share the link with them. So my decks are different than published decks. So now you can click right here and it's going to pop into the Jubilee deck with all of our fancy icons here. If I go back, these are all of my decks. I'm sure there's a ton. I have 33 pages of decks built, so I have not published that many. And so if I want to share the deck, I would have to copy the deck name, which let's see if I can pull this up. So yeah, just the, uh, the URL here. But if I just copy the URL, that's actually not enough. If you are new to Marvel CDB, you have to change this one feature or this one setting. So go over to your icon, go to etiquette, edit account. You're going to come down here. You can add in all your usernames, your emails, notification settings and stuff. But there's this box, at least when I signed up, was not checked when you first sign up for it so you're gonna have to check this box right here share your decks hit save and now you can copy that url send it to anybody and they can access the deck the final thing that i wanted to talk about is how to publish a deck on marvel cdb so if i'm sharing the deck i'm copying that url i can send it to whoever they can access the deck but it will not show up on the front page as a recent deck or a popular deck or a deck that can be searched in this deck list uh, feature. And if you all want to see more about that, just let me know. I may do another video, but if you want to publish a deck, you're going to go into the deck that we just created. Let's go to the new Jubilee deck and you're going to hit this green button right here. So while you can copy the URL and share it with anybody you would like to now, if you want it to be thrown out so that anybody can find it and you're not sharing it with a specific person, you hit this publish button. You can name it anything. I had to edit this out because whenever I click on this, for some reason it pops up my home address and I don't want that to happen. Um, you can tag if it's mainly a solo deck uh, or if it's mainly a multiplayer or beginner deck, you can have multiple tags here. And then this is where you're going to put in your fancy write-up. And so let's hop over to the main page and let's look at a villain theory deck. This write-up is what we have here. So you have the videos, any tags and one thing that i do want to talk about right now is that how you add a card name so if you type in like uh pound sign or hashtag you can start typing in the name so 
like I, we're talking about energy barriers that's going to be the syntax to use and it's going to enter that in so that whenever you are looking at the write-up over here it will be able to hover and show what this card is so when villain was writing this you know they put hashtag or pound hone technique click that and now it's a hyperlinked so we can click on it we can see what it is we can actually click on it and it takes us right to the card page when you're done writing everything up you're going to hit save and then that is how the deck is published you're going to be pushing it it can be viewed by anybody it will be on the front page of this recent deck and if people are voting on it or they like it then it can hop over to the popular deck so there you go those are how you search for cards that's how you build decks that's how you use some of those tools available to you and the graphs available to you in order to build new marvel champions decks if you have any questions i did not cover everything that cvb can do in this video but if you have questions ask them in the comments i'm more than happy to answer i may answer with a video depending on if it does need to be uh more in depth but please ask those questions cdb is great i hope that this was a video that helped a little bit if not maybe my answers to the comments will but i appreciate y'all thank you so very much for watching see you around have some fun building some marvel champions decks peace <laughs>